Right, in the papers today, Rolling Stone legend Ronnie Wood has revealed how regular pep talks from his A-list pals have helped him stay off the booze for two months now. Now, the rock star who's struggled to stay on the wagon, has been well documented, has reportedly said that he's relying on the help of friends like Mick Jagger, Elton John and Rod Stewart to stay sober. Now, clearly his friends have all been rallying round him, but do you think friends have a, have a duty to intervene when you see a pal going off the rails? Um, I would, and because, uh, you know, obviously I care about people who are um, out with me and probably drinking too much and you don't know what's going to happen to them and all that, but with me, unfortunately for me, and nobody could because in bad times I was a lone this is with drink. drinking. Yeah, yeah, I was an actual lone drinker, and the reason for that was because you know the usual my marriage breaking up and that. So nobody could help me because I always looked as if I was drinking orange juice or you know I never let anybody know because I was not even your close friends. No. Nope. Not at all, because actually I was quite ashamed of it and quite embarrassed, and so um, I hid it um, from everybody. But but what it taught me was when I'm with people, not including Denise in this conversation at all, um, but when I'm with people who have ha had a night out and I can see what's happening to them, I really want to take them and say, just stop now, or just come with me, or just come home. But of course... Like me, when people, if people had said that to me, it would have made me worse and I would have gone on to a much worse state than I was in then because you felt that people were challenging, challenging you and telling you what to do. Mm. And the worst thing you can do to somebody who's had drinks is tell them what to do because they'll go against you. And I'm not saying that about you, Denise, but what I have been in a situation <laughs> with you... <laughs> me? Is when... You think, you think I like to drink? It's ridiculous. <laughs> when I have been out with you and you do try and take you home, you know full well <laughs> she won't go home. <laughs> and, and because you're being so boring, shut up. I know, you see, that's what you get. But no, I know I mean, I've been there, I understand no, that. No, I, I, I do. And I mean, there, there is a serious side to it. And I mean, every time I do, I do go out, I do say to my friends, now, don't let me go on to that next club. Fast forward to the next club. The next day, why did you let me? And they say, we tried to, we, we tried to stop it's you. True. And after a while, they just got bored. I do agree with a few friends. I mean, things like taking car keys off, because I would never do drink and drive or anything no, no. like that. So I'd, I, I mm. even if I was tipsy, would still take the, sure. key, the keys mm. off somebody. It was interesting because when I did have, when it, when it became a problem a few years ago, and I knew that I had to address it, and um, I, I eventually gave up for, for, t for two years, um, friends who really cared about me were really, really supportive. Those who I would say were the drinking buddies didn't want me to stop drinking because they'd lost a drinking buddy. And I know myself I'm guilty of that. If it's a friend of mine who normally we have a good time and they're on orange juice, it's like, oh, don't be so boring because it makes you feel insecure. But, but also, mm. like you just said, there are drinking friends and there are other friends. Yeah. I think, you know, the, the drinking friends want a reason to carry on and it's that kind of, they, they want they to misbehave with other people. And they can't stop and you. They can't, and, they're, and they're not interested in stopping you because it spoils their fun. But, and, yeah, but then again, when friends, I stop, you know, pe people then didn't want me to sort of stay stop. But it's interesting because Carol, who you also know, you know, li likes the tipple, she won't mind me saying. Um, during my two years of abstinence, we were at this bar, I think it was a loose woman rap party or something, and a very close friend of mine, jokingly, when I said, can I have an orange juice, went, oh, put a double vodka in. She was only joking. Carol went absolutely mad yeah, with yeah, her, she grabbed did. her arm and said, don't you dare make Denzi drink. And of course, Pam, they nearly, they nearly had a fight. But Carol was, even though she'd had a tipple herself, was mm. protecting because she knew how important it was at the time. Mm. So you, you were saying there are two different types of friends? I think you... so, and I don't think they mix, actually. Mm -hmm. I think because... And also, when you get up to tricks and you're out on your partying, there are a certain amount of secrets and certain things that happen within the, the, that kind of environment that needs to stay in that environment. Because if... It, you, a lot of it you actually can't take into your, your other life. I think there need to be two separate camps, almost. Do you, do do you, think, think, do you think also, excuse me, one minute, you know when you, you are, uh, have had drinks and then you think, actually, I've got to pull this back a bit, do you actually get to the point where you say, I, I'm not going to drink with those friends because I know they'll keep me I've, there? Do you stop that friendship Well, I've, I had, um, I, when I, before I had Bo and I sort of settled down with Paul and everything, I properly partied hard and, and, and made specific friendship choices. I only hung out mm. with people that wouldn't tell me to go home, mm. that were partying the way that I was. That's what I mean, so, yeah. it, so it kind of suited me. They were kind of designated drinking friends. Mm -hmm. There were definitely uh, groups of people in London, that sort of example, that I love dearly, but if, but if I was sort of working the next day or whatever, I would choose not to go out with those people, she yeah, says, yeah. except I have made a mistake. Because it's their fault, isn't it? Because it's their fault. Yeah. <laughs> it's their fault. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If, uh, <laughs> if you've got an opinion,